And to finish my blog here, let's see, that's how you make ice cream with liquid Nito jam. Hey, Bernie, looks like you're kind of busy. Uh-huh, uh-huh, yep. Pastor Roy is at my table. There we go. Here I am with Pastor Roy at Putters and Scoops in Huron, South Dakota, which is right by my town of Celebration, A-T-I-O-N. <laughs> uh, Bernie, maybe we could have a conversation. Conversation. Pastor Roy wants me to have a conversation, S-A-T-I-O-N. Yeah, but I want to talk to you, Bernie. Me? He wants to talk to me. Pastor Roy would like to talk, T-A-L-K, to me, M-E. Awesome. Oh. Oh, oh, I can't be on the phone? Oh, can't we just talk phone to phone? That's kind of cool. It's not necessary. I'm sitting right here. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I see you are. You, you are sitting right there. Okay, well, yeah, tech no and tech yes and now is no. Right. Okay. Pastor Roy, would you pass this to Bernie? <gasps> oh, awesome. What flavor of ice cream would you like? Oh, just a small vanilla. Oh. <laughs> That's all you want? You just want a small vanilla? But you don't you don't want like a, like the chocolate strawberry cricket uh, cricket shake? That is so good. I love that one. But I understand less is more because you know what? I, I was at the Starbase where they showed me how to make the, uh, the ice cream with the liquid nitro jam. No, Nitro Jam, that was what it was. I heard the South Dakota State University makes the ice cream here at Putters and Scoops. Um, it, it, is making ice cream a college class? Because if it is, I'm going to go to college. Well, there's a lot of things you can learn in college. Here's your vanilla. Woo, look at that. And oh, oh, uh, Melanie, can you come back here? Say, I just wondered, um, do you know how the students make their ice cream at the uh, South Dakota State University? They use milk straight from the cow. Really? Straight from the cow? Wow. They make it at their own dairy plant. It's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. The first day, they separate the cream from the milk. Then they combine certain amounts back together again. On the second day, they mix pasteurized milk with sugar, non-fat dairy milk, dry corn syrup, stabilizer. Oh, I know. All together in a great big machine. This is all stirred in a large tank. Oh, now I remember. Evan said he went there with faith. He talked about a door that opened with his foot. I don't think he was supposed to do that. <laughs> Everyone wore hair hats to keep the ice cream clean. Evan said it was so loud in there, earplugs had to be put in. said he looked pretty goofy. They use a lot of computers and technology to help make the ice cream. The ice cream containers had to be cleaned out and the floor got soap on it and everything was washed before they made the ice cream. Evan said they watched really close because the ice cream mixture was first just a liquid and then they couldn't add the blueberry ingredient until they saw it come out frozen. Then they poured in the blueberry because that's the flavor they were making that day. Buckets were filled with the ice cream. And then a small sample was tasted to be sure that it was delicious. And it's frozen solid. This makes it ready for all the fortunate people that get to eat it. Oh, and Faith took Tyler there too. They went into the South Dakota State University Dairy Bar and ate some of that awesome ice cream before they went home. So technology can help us do some pretty fantastic things and I'm learning to use it wisely. Like don't be on the phone when I'm having a conversation with a real 3D person eh, who wants to look me in the eyes instead of the top of my head because I'm looking down at my phone. Is that right? Yep, that's right. <laughs> Oh, oh. Hi, Mom. Wait a minute, we're having a con... I thought we just said... 